everybody, and welcome back to the Busted Grill Garage. Today, we're going to find out if the, uh, I don't even know what to call this thing. We'll start out with Rat Trap Trans Am and see how far it gets. We're going to find out if it runs. It's going to run. Probably not. This is a 1976 Trans Am 50th anniversary special edition car. The 50th anniversary badge, one year only. It's a one of 1,628 of these ever built with the 400 non T-tops. And as you can see, it is a rust bucket, rat trap, whatever you want to call it. It's rough. But it's a project. It's pretty much complete underneath the hood. Uh, very highly optioned cruise control, AC, rear console, power windows, power locks, uh, special audio package. But this is the new project. So the game plan for this car, if we ever had one, I reckon it does fire. It'll run off of a uh, a Wendy's cup, but that's my brilliant genius. Your genius? Is that what you call it? Makeshift fuel tank, redneck style. Fair enough. So today we're gonna start by dropping the fuel tank. If we can get some bolts, you know, out I mean, of the rust. Yeah, that's not probably not gonna happen. We're probably, we're probably going to try to put a fuel tank in it and not be able to get the strap bolts loose and then say screw it and move on to something else is probably what's going to happen. But where we're going to start is with the fuel tank, get that dropped, get the new one put in. And from there, we'll probably shoot some air through the fuel lines on it. And then we know this car got parked because of a fuel pump leaking on it. So we're going to throw a fuel pump on it and then make sure we got fuel, see if we can get it to fire, see if it'll sit there and run for us. It'll be fun. Still working. Take that bolt out. I can't believe we got those bolts out. Here's the pain of balls. That was like literally a week that I fought with that. And I didn't even get it, you got it. You were the one that ended up actually getting it. What was that on? The cutlass. It was hard to get out. Why? Because instead of having just a bolt that runs up and tightens down, it had a bolt and a nut. And you had to line the strap up with the body and the strap. Ooh. <laughs> Come out of there. I would say we could get away with just putting some fresh gas in it. Did you not get your filter? Oh, it's got one in the quad. Uh, it's got one in the quad. Yeah, 33052. I might have it. So, change of plans. Our fuel tank replacement went about exactly how we expected it to, so we don't really have time to mess with it today, so we're going to move on to a fuel pump and 
hopefully we can get it fire just from a fuel pump running new gas in an old tank. What do you think about it? I think we're gonna give it our best shot to have it run today. what she said. Damn, you jiggle it, Hedge. So we've gone ahead and we've got a new fuel pump installed. I don't want to do that ever again in my entire life. But we went ahead and cracked the line loose right here and cranked on it, make sure we were getting fuel. And we are. So, Robert, you want to get in there and see what it does? Uh, worst thing's worse. We got a motor we can put in it right there. That seems like that might be worse than the fuel pump. <laughs> so spoiler alert, I will say that it does run on its own now. However, I'm pretty sure I just came within an inch of getting backhanded by an alternator belt. If you notice, we're missing something right here. Slight problems. So fast forward, skip this section, just pull one of these numbers. Is that what, how do they do it? All right, Robert, give it another shot. It's your headers. Uh, it's your headers. What are your What do your oil pieces look like? Uh, Seventy-five psi. If that's correct. That voltage is good. Gas gauge looks like it works. Parking brake must be set. Or it's just on. That's probably why that wheel's off. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this one off here. I kind of feel like we got a lot accomplished today, but I kind of feel like we didn't get very much accomplished at all. On the bright side of the car, I mean it runs. By itself. By itself. We have no brake pedal. Wheel's locked up again. 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 <laughs> fuel tank ain't coming out <laughs> not without a lot more I'm afraid it's going to have to come out of liquid makes sense next to a gas tank right but it runs <laughs> it does run we don't know if we have reverse or drive yet but we know we don't have brakes so no brakes in an upcoming adventure I wouldn't even call it an episode this is an adventure every time you crawl under this thing <laughs> feel like you get tetanus <laughs> touching anything on it. So we're going to finish this one off here. Guys, if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. There's going to be a lot more to come with this car. So I'm going to get off here. We'll catch you guys later. So rat trap Trans Am or rust trap Trans Am? Piece of crap. <laughs>